Jim Hood's term as Attorney General ends in January in the race to find his replacement. One thing was certain, history would be made in Mississippi. Voters went to the po polls Tuesday to decide on who would be the first woman to be named Attorney General in the state. In the end, Republican Lynn Fitch beat her Democratic opponent, Jennifer Riley Collins. 12 News' this Alex Love has more. In 2012, she made history as the first woman to be elected to the Mississippi State Treasurer's Office, and now Lynn Fitch is at it again, becoming the first woman to be elected as Attorney General for the Magnolia State. Once the race was called, Attorney General-elect Fitch was greeted with applause and cheers, taking the podium next to her family. We've only had four women in 200 years serve in office, and so, again, I feel so blessed that God allowed me to serve, and I hope it will empower other women, and if I can be an inspiration or motivator to have other women step into the political arena. Hundreds gathered at the Embassy Suites Hotel in Ridgeland, including Governor Phil Bryant, to show his support and believe in Treasurer Fitch. They need to stop trafficking that happens here, uh, not only drug trafficking, but human trafficking, and Lynn Fitch is going to be a tough AG when it comes to enforcing the laws, both federal and state. Despite being a predominant red state, the Mississippi AG's office has been under Democrat rule for more than 100 years, making Fitch the first conservative to hold the seat since Reconstruction. We'll be hitting a lot of different issues from uh, the opioid crisis to human trafficking, certainly partnering with our law enforcement, supporting our business community, uh, protecting all of our rights, our Second Amendment. So I'm looking forward to all of those different opportunities. The race was called right before the 10 o'clock hour when Treasurer Fitch took 58.5% of the vote, defeating her opponent, Democrat Jennifer Riley Collins. Reporting at the Embassy Suites Hotel in Ridgeland, Alex Love, 12 News. Thank you, Alex. Now, Fitch says fighting opioids and human trafficking will be two of her top concerns as the new Attorney General.